Hi guys, today I'll be taking a look at Mac OS Sierra. So, first of all, there's a new wallpaper, Sierra. Now, we've got this Manage tab and Storage in about this map. We've got Recommendations. So, an iCloud, Optimize Storage, sorry, and Erase trash automatically which you do that in 30 days and there's reduced clutter to so review and delete all older documents stored on this map and you can review the files there so this is um new with um sierra so in um finder advanced Preferences that's also there. Trash, remove trash, trash after 30 days. Um, so, Sierra, I am running it. Now, I keep folders on top when sorting by name. This is good for Windows users because I'm pretty sure they have the option. So, I'm just going to test it out with my applications folder. Um, so as you can see to sound flower and utilities and they should be at the top and they are so that is pretty that is cool for if you want those files at the top but yeah so off to the next thing the notification center has got no remake so widgets are calculated here so it works um we can edit you can add so i just added itunes i can remove the calculator and that's pretty basic so yep now this music um button now has like the speakers and the volume before you have to click um, command and then it comes up as you can see it just had output and input now. Now you can move these um like thing. Well, you could already move them, but now you can move third party um icons. So yeah, which I think is pretty cool. See, like this record. You can't like move the recording, move Siri. So previously you can't um, move like third party um, icons. But anyway, we've got in full screen only tabs in like applications. An example here, I've just opened two pages documents. Now previously you couldn't do that you'd have to open two windows. So here's my work. And there is my home. Stuff of course, so I'll just add stuff. Eh, don't worry about it. So now I'll come back here and wait, there's no windows. But if I put always, the tabs will come in one move them around now maps also has this tab thingy all right so we've got sydney sydney harbour bridge and i'm just going to get up the rome columns coliseum so we've got 3d and here's coliseum and that's the harbour bridge pretty straightforward now we've got um, double space, there's a full stop, as you can see, iOS already have that. If you don't like it, go to settings, keyboard, you can get rid of it. If you don't like it, you can get rid of it. But I, I like it pretty much. Now you've got like splits, 
like picture in picture mode, sorry, on the Mac. Previously, it was only on iOS, you can resize. You can't pin them on your screen, which is disappointing. Now, it is a beta, they may change it. So, yeah, you can work on Safari and stuff while you do that. Now, over here, we have iTunes has slightly been changed. The AirPlay and the notification things have their own. Now, Siri. All right, so hi. Hey. How are you? Excellent. So, here's some Siri settings. So, Australian, we're just going to try American. Hi. Good evening. How are you? Excellent. So, British. Hey. Hi. How are you? I'm fine. Thanks for asking. Hello. Bye. Okay, see you soon. So, that's Siri. Um, so yeah, as I said before, you can move those icons. Siri can move too. So, you can also have Siri shortcuts, so Command S. So, who won the Warriors game? So, the Cavaliers won the NBA Finals 4 to 3 over the Warriors. They won the last game 93 to 89. Now, Siri is still improving, but this is only beta. Search the web for images of OS 10 Sierra. So, that didn't quite work. Here are right, some images so of OSN um, Sierra images. I found on the web. So I'm just going to open a quick pages document. You can select a whole heap of images and put them in your pages document. What a great idea. So, how much free space do I have on my Mac? You have 981.94 gigabytes storage available. How do you spell unnoticed? So then you've unnoticed. U N N O T I C E D. Open YouTube.com forward slash OS Gamer Channel. And it'll take you to whatever web you are on. Pretty cool, hey? What's the weather in Tokyo? And it will tell you just that. Here's the forecast for Tokyo, Japan between today and the 2nd of July 2016. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Remember to rate, comment down below. And remember to like and subscribe.